Welcome to another Safish Jazz app podcast, or more likely more a general podcast about Safish Jazz news and stuff, because this weekend, this week basically was packed with Safish Jazz news. So first of all, there will be an Safish Jazz image for the Xperia X, just like announced on MWC in March this year. There will be an image available for the Xperia X. I have one here, as you can see, an Xperia X, and it's still running um, Android. But uh, please stand by is the wallpaper, and this is basically the message about the SafeJS image for the Xperia X. So Yola basically first will start by providing a beta version to the C beta group, which is a very community uh, like group, a testing group in the inside the community of experts, developers, uh, and people who are basically the first ones who will also get the newest version of SafeJS um, updates, OS updates in general. So It is expected to arrive, the Safeguard image for Xperia X, the first uh, testing image for the C-Beta group is expected to be released the same time the first release version, the early access version of Safeguard 2.1.2 will be uh, announced. And then you can expect that the C-Beta group will take roughly, I think, a month, maybe a few weeks to test out the image for the Xperia X. If they don't find any rough edges, any big bugs, you can expect maybe August or September, then you the final image of Safe S for the Xperia X will arrive. Now some might ask Xperia X, there are so many Xperia Xs out there. First of all, Xperia X without anything added, so no compact, no Z or something like this. This is the first important thing. The other important thing is that there are three versions, at least to my knowledge, of the Xperia X. The first one is this one that I have here, the F5121, I think. And this one is the single SIM version, the European version, basically. There's the same version basically for the US market uh, with the slight difference as you can see here uh, when I'm unlocking this one I'm using my fingerprint to unlock and this fingerprint is not available in the US version this is I think the only major difference between the US version and the European version I think the bands LTE bands and so on is uh, should be the same And there is a dual SIM version as well, but the dual SIM version will not be supported, at least not officially. So might be able to install it, the image on it, and it might be running there because the hardware is very similar. But in general, Yola is testing uh, this on the Xperia X uh, single SIM devices, the European versions as, as I uh, would call them. And this is basically the device that I have in my hands. I will, of course, do um, a hardware overview. We'll do a comparison with the uh, Yola phone as well, the Yola C and so on. So uh, expect more content on the Xperia X and uh, the Yola phones and safe shares in general on my channel. And of course, I uh, will test also the camera and the sound and everything else of this cool new device, the Xperia X, the flagship SafeShares device, at least for the future, not ready right now, not shipping right now. But what is shipping very soon as well is a newcomer, a clone basically, or the revival of the Yola tablet basically. A clone in this case, yeah, is it really a clone? Uh, basically, it's the same device that I have here, the Yola tablet but with another branding, because Yola itself is not a hardware company anymore. They only sell software, but there's some a guy in China that has basically talk, uh, talked basically with the guys or girls in, uh, in China that developed the Safish OS, that designed the Safish OS tablet, and they basically agreed, yeah, let's take a look if we can just create, get all the parts and basically create a new Yola tablet, not call it Yola because Yola just not want to be involved in this. Uh, the only thing that Yola does is providing the software for it, and they call it the yo Yota tablet, basically. yo Yota. A safe dress two-in-one tablet and the Indiegogo campaign just started I think 24 hours ago and they already reached 63% uh, 
uh, as of right now. Uh, so they want to reach fifty thousand dollars, and they have reached uh, approximately thirty-two thousand dollars already. And the campaign is going for fifteen days still. So it is a very interesting thing. It is basically really the Yola tablet on steroids. Uh, you can say so. It's it's not nothing completely new. It's the same exact hardware. So the only thing that is new is the branding, of course, your Yota at the back. So you don't have you don't get the fancy uh, Yola uh, logo or Safish S logo or something like this. You also won't get the last two cases that I have here. But you will get, yeah, I think, um, well, it's, it's hard to tell because it's, it's, it's a matter of taste. But first of all, you get red variant of the tablet. As you can see here on the, on the shot, I, let me hold it a little bit closer. It's uh, basically a red version of the Yola tablet, and in this case, the Yoto, to, Yo, Yoto tablet. And as you can see, a Yota tablet. Um, as you can see, that's the red var variant. The red var variant is the one with 64 gigs internal memory. And um, it comes in various different, um, in various different uh, versions. First of all, the red version is a 64 bit, uh, 64 gigabyte version. And there's a black version, uh, I think the same black as this one here. Uh, which is the 32 gigabyte version and they both come in bundles a bundle with bundled together with the let's see if I can find a screenshot in here bundled together with first of all a nice case which seems to be at least um, looking taking a look from from the screenshot uh, a much nicer more professional case more yeah iPad like case than the last two case. So the last two case is, is a very special one, but this one is more streamlined version, I would say. And as you can see here, it has a stand built in, just like the last two case, which is nice, and which allows you to dock a keyboard on it as well. As you can see in, let's make it a little bit bigger, in these screenshots. So there's a keyboard attached here. It's a Bluetooth keyboard, it's a very fine keyboard, as you can see, at least from the screenshots. And it's a QWERTY keyboard only, so there won't be any QWERTS or uh, ASERTY keyboards. And uh, this is the tablet um, with its uh, case. There are um, just simply two of them in different colors, blue and black, as you can see here. And they look very, very slick and nice. And uh, there is another sleeve protector that you can also buy if you'd like to for your tablet and of course they have the usual merchandise just like for example t-shirts uh, if you'd like this so this is the yota tablet the yota tablet and i think it's a winner uh, of course it, it packs the same hardware so there's nothing new uh, in comparison to the yola tablet uh, let me refresh your mind uh, octa core no, quad core 64-bit intel processor 1.8 gigahertz uh, 32 or 64 uh, gigabyte internal EMMC, 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. There is no, n there's no possibility to uh, upgrade the RAM uh, because the, the, the PCB, the main board, so to say, of the tablet and the processor, they don't support any more memory. So if you stick to them, you have to live with 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's the same display, the sharp display with uh, a resolution of 2048 by five, uh, 1536 IPS, the same display, 303, uh, 330 pixels per inch, and capacitive, capacitive, capacitive five points multi-touch. The battery is slightly larger, 4,500 milliampere hours, instead of 4,200, I think, in the Yola tablet. Uh, the cameras are the same, Wi-Fi, A, B, G, N, dual band support, of course, uh, GPS, GLONASS support, Bluetooth 3.0, all the sensors the same, 3.5 millimeters uh, here, um, headphone jack, as well as micro SD card slot and micro USB with USB OTG. So nothing new, nothing fancy in here. They upgraded the internal internals a little bit, so I think the overheating issues that I have with my Yola tablet will be gone in this Yota tablet, and some other issues will be fixed as well regarding the hardware itself. Uh, just like, for example, flaky buttons, just like my my volume up button, just somehow uh, volume down button. <laughs> In this case is a little bit i think it broke somehow but you have of course the gestures you don't need those buttons usually um 
but they fixed this, which is a nice thing. Uh, micro SD up to 256 gigabytes if you use X X EXT4, and it will be safer as 2.1 already on the device shipping with all the latest support for Android apps, uh, Microsoft Exchange, text prediction, gesture control, so also including all the proprietary stuff from uh, Yola or that Yola offers in its SafeShares variant. I think and I hope it might be uh, the new 2.1 or 2.1 uh, Two version of Safish S with some bug fixes that will soon arrive also on the Yola tablet because basically it's the same hardware. They use the same hardware, of course, because it's then very, very easy to port Safish S on a port. Uh, in this case, they only need, I think, to change exchange the Yola tablet logo to the Yoyota tablet logo, uh, logo in the uh, boot screen animation. This is basically everything uh, mostly uh, because the hardware is the same. So, um, I think that it's a winner because uh, this could be the uh, one thing that some of you guys that donated for the Yola tablet that wanted a Yola tablet now got one half back of the uh, tablet uh, that you simply wanted but did not get. You have now the chance to just simply use this other half and try to uh, donate. But what means try? Just simply. Um, give it a go, give it a go. They are uh, the, the thing, uh, singer things. The first, uh, I think it started, it starts with $199 for the 32 gigabyte version in black running Safe S. This is the naked version without any, um, without any, um, keyboard or protection cover or something like this. Then there's the 64 gigabyte version starting with $219. Um, of course, shipping is plus, so uh, I think for Europe it's about thirty dollars that you have to um, uh, have to just simply add to the to the price in here. Then there's a tablet bundle for the thirty-two gig and for the sixty-four gig version that comes with the tablet, with the Bluetooth keyboard, with the protection sleeve, uh, protection cover, and you will save twenty dollars. In contrast, if you would uh, buy them separately, and yeah, this is I think a very good um, sign that there is some interest in bringing new SafeShares devices out there, even if they aren't phones but tablets. And I think this one could be, yeah, the successor of the Yola tablet. It's a good tablet, still a good hardware. The price is a little bit um, you have to think about it because it's basically the same price as the Yola tablet. Uh, back in the days, and I think it's one year uh, ago that the Yola tablet was um, announced, or more, a little bit more than one year already. So, um, yeah, this is one thing you have to think about. It. But if you want a Yola tablet, if you wanted a Yola tablet and uh, want a Safish S tablet, I think this is the way to go. Pretty nice, uh, solid hardware, as you can see here. And uh, there are constant status updates also uh, since I think March. Um, from uh, the progress of creating the tablet itself and I think if they reach their goal we will have the option to just simply buy one of those uh, nice little tablets and I think this really really looks cool the red version here just let me show you the screenshot pretty pretty nice tablet and uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just simply uh, I have the Yola tablet already, but um, I'm thinking about it. Um, maybe I will get another one and we'll see if all those heating issues are fixed or I will just simply wait a little and then see if the first uh, testing review is um, and the first test arrives um, how this uh, Yoyota, tablet, Yoyota tablet will simply uh, then um, do in those reviews. So, um, this is everything for this little uh, screencast. Nah, it's not a screencast. For this little podcast around Safish S and some news around Safish S. So, be excited. These are exciting times coming this year with the Yota tablet and the Safish S uh, on the Xperia X. And